Hello everyone, my name is Avinav Gupta, I'm the lead developer and CEO at Game Scorpion Inc. And today we're going to be going over RevMob. And uh, this here is an introduction to it. Uh, this is uh, the first of uh, three um, items on RevMob and all about it. Um, in the entire set, we're going to be teaching you firstly, you know, what RevMob is. Then after that, actually going over, uh, you know, the full integration of RevMob for both iOS and Android and then after that even some amazing tips and tricks and, and stuff that I've learned along the way um, while using RevMob over the past uh, you know a year or so um, so anyways let's begin um, firstly what is RevMob alright well RevMob is a way for app developers to make money alright it's awesome because you actually get to make a lot of money compared to many other uh, monetization methods um, it works on something called cost per install uh, or CPI uh, many other market uh, monetization methods are using something like um, you know cost per click uh, which is CPC or they'll use uh, cost per impression um, this is cost per install also sometimes known as cost per action or CPA and basically what it's you know the way it works is um, users get to see an ad and then after that um, if they don't do anything you don't get any credit for it but if they do make a download that's when you actually get some credit for things and the credit in this case turns out to be a you know really good money compared to many other monetization methods and, and that's why um, RevMob is so powerful um, it uses uh, several types of ads one of the most known one is known as an interstitial or also known just simply as a full screen ad all right an interstitial is just a fancy term for full screen ad um, another one is a banner ad and so you can use that as well and uh, basically all the ads that they've got are what I would like to call call to action ads so something as simple as download a free game and uh, they'll have that in full screen and so it's really just straight to the point you know a person can download a free game and chances are users would love to do that and so they usually click on the ad and then they get taken to a free game that they could download um, why use RevMob well as I said RevMob pays uh, a lot of money compared to many other methods out there and um, basically I get a lot of dollars like several dollars more per install um, compared to you know sitting down and getting a few pennies or like a few quarters for every thousand um, that's uh, you know cost per impression for example um, basically uh, the integration of RevMob is quite easy compared to many other marketplaces um, RevMob I can actually do quite fast uh, I've been able to do RevMob integrations within like five minutes which is pretty cool and I, and I hope that you'll get to see that in a little bit um, but that's usually the challenge with the uh, developers um, even if you're outsourcing any forms of SDKs it usually takes a lot of time um, that being said however as you grow uh, I mean any form of integration will not just be you know a few hours or sorry a few minutes or anything um, it could take some time due to whatever processes or procedures you have but out of all of the different SDKs RevMob is usually the fastest to integrate um, it is available right now for iOS Google Play and just recently they brought out Amazon as well and uh, that's a, that's a big thing because um, most ad SDK markets are usually iOS based and uh, Google Play based but um, you know right now many of them are starting to come out for Amazon and the difference is basically when a person clicks on you know the download a free game button um, or the interstitial ad they won't be taken to let's say a Google market link inside of the Amazon store they'll actually go to an Amazon link in the Amazon store which means that you'll get credited for it uh, and you know that's good for you um, so how do we set up an account well first what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to www.revmob.com and then you're gonna sign up for an account after that um, you're just gonna have to go on to the integration video which I'm gonna uh, do right after this one so if you're following along you're gonna see the integration video and I'm actually basically going to teach you how to integrate uh, RevMob for iOS and for Android Eclipse and uh, the Android Eclipse integration will allow you to actually put uh, the RevMob code in for both Amazon and Google Play in the same place 
all it is then is uh, on the Android side you're just flipping um, the actual ID that you get and uh, yeah so that's uh, a ba that's basically it for the overview uh, here um, what we learned so far was you know what RevMob is it's a way for you to make money which is really cool as an app developer um, we learned about CPI cost per install it's also known as CPA or cost per action um, it, it is one of those types of markets uh, we learned about why you know someone would want to use RevMob alright it is a, a lot easier to use um, you know when it comes to integration so as a developer that would be a benefit um, and also you do get a lot more money compared to many other markets um, in the long run uh, one of the strengths of RevMob is the more users you have the the higher your uh, revenue is going to be and I've noticed that in general whenever I integrate RevMob over any other ad SDK that I've ever put in RevMob hands down has been like the number one the top and um, Next to it, I would say uh, there is Chart Boost, which is pretty good, and they do back and forth. And there's a you know a few cool tips which I'll teach you about later on. Um, and then after that, I've also tried uh, other things like Interactive and um, several others. Uh, but basically, out of all of them, uh, you know, like AdMob and stuff like that, um, I've seen that RevMob does deliver a lot more compared to a lot of these other SDKs. So. That's why I, I full force recommend it, highly recommend it for me. Um, and finally, we went over, you know, just the basic setup of a RevMob account. You know, just go to the website, sign up, and uh, yeah, you'll be ready to go. And um, I hope that you continue and uh, see me in the next uh, module where we actually now do the integration of RevMob into both iOS and Android.